dementia and cardiovascular diseases are health threats of older people globally. Choline esterase inhibitor is for the treatment of dementia in patients with Alzheimer's disease. Recent animal studies show choline esterase inhibitor were associated with a lower risk of cardiovascular event. The potential mechanism is through the anti-inflammatory effect of choline esterase inhibitor. However, evidence regarding the cardioprotective effect of choline esterase inhibitor use is still limited in human population. My colleague and I conducted a population-based study and found the use of choline esterase inhibitor among Alzheimer's disease patients reduced the risk not only of instant cardiovascular disease, but also of cardiovascular mortality. The protective impact of choline esterase inhibitor on cardiovascular events was dose dependent and was primarily associated with the total accumulated dose. Hi, my name is Zhongxuan Wu. I'm an associate professor in the School of Pharmacy at the Taipei Medical University in Taiwan. I'm the corresponding author, and I'm here very happy to present our study titled as The Association Between the Use of Choline Esterase Inhibitor and the Cardiovascular Events Among Older Patients with Alzheimer's Disease. This study will appear in the February 2021 issue of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. In this retrospective cohort study, we designed a new medication user and active comparator study design using the health and the welfare database in Taiwan. From a pharmacoepidemiological perspective, the study design lowers the bias from confounding by indication and the immortal type bias, which increases the validity of our study findings. In terms of the health and welfare database, Taiwan has a single-payer universal healthcare insurance program that covers about 99% of the 23 million citizens in Taiwan. The database has comprehensive medical and insurance records of all populations in Taiwan. Figure 1 shows the design of the study. The overall length of the data was from 2005 to 2014. A one-year pre-index period was used to identify characteristics of the study population. We used six months after the index day to identify the exposure of choline esterase inhibitors. The instance of cardiovascular event was compared between choline esterase user and non-user. Figure 2 shows the survival curves between user and non-users. As we can see, Choline esterase inhibitor user had a better survival rate when compared to choline esterase non-users. After propensity score matching and adjustment, choline esterase inhibitor users had a significantly lower risk of cardiovascular events than non-users. The hazard ratio is 0.57 and the 95% confidence interval is between 0.51 to 0.62. When we further look at the dose effect among choline esterase users, patients with a higher accumulated dose had a significantly lower risk of cardiovascular events than those with a low accumulated dose. In this study, the use of choline esterase inhibitor for six months was associated with a 43 percent risk reduction of cardiovascular events among patients with Alzheimer's disease. In addition, a dose-response relationship was observed. The cardiovascular benefit of choline esterase inhibitor was associated with a higher accumulated dose. From a clinical perspective, healthcare providers should be aware that the long-term use of choline esterase inhibitor could significantly decrease the risk of instant cardiovascular events. Importantly, compared to choline esterase inhibitor non-user, users shows the beneficial effect in reducing the risk of cardiovascular events with any treatment strategy or any cumulated dose. Therefore, 
enhancing the willingness to use cholinesterase inhibitor among patients with Alzheimer's disease is a priority. And healthcare providers should make a personalized treatment plan that reaches a balance between drug efficacy and side effects to prolong the use of cholinesterase inhibitor as much as possible. Our findings are meaningful to patients, especially for Alzheimer's disease patients with comorbid cardiovascular diseases, because cholinesterase inhibitors can not only treat the memory loss condition, but also can reduce the risk of cardiovascular events. Moreover, we conducted several sensitivity analysis to vary the exposure period from six months to nine months. All the results from the sensitivity analysis shows the same findings from the main analysis, which means the use of cholinesterase inhibitor has a cardioprotective effect. Patients can benefit from the protection effect if they take the medication. Finally, due to poor compliance, users may have used fewer cholinesterase inhibitors than what was recorded in the databases. Even so, a significant cardioprotective findings was observed in our study. Patients can benefit from taking this medication. In terms of the benefit, future study can be designed to investigate whether cholinesterase inhibitors can further prevent recurrent cardiovascular disease. Clinically, patients with a first cardiovascular event often have a second attack very soon. The cardioprotective effect from cholinesterase inhibitors could potentially benefit patients to prevent the second attack. So, in conclusion, results from our study will allow healthcare providers to be aware of the comprehensive cardiovascular benefit of cholinesterase inhibitor. Therefore, they can choose an optimal treatment for Alzheimer's disease patients who are at high risk of cardiovascular disease. This is my presentation. Thank you. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.